Now in this video, we'll see some local authorization by using privilege levels. And these privilege levels are configured on the local router. So in this example, I'm going to configure some privilege levels. So I'll create some two user accounts, user two and the user five. And then we'll assign different privilege levels to them. Like user two will be assigned with a privilege level of two. And the user five will be assigned with a privilege level of five. And then we'll allocate some commands to the specific users, to the specific privilege levels. And whichever the user assigned with a privilege level of two will be able to execute these commands. Likewise, the user, the, the whichever the user assigned with a privilege level of five will be allowed to access only the specific commands which we have defined here. And then we'll, we'll enable the authorization finally after that. And then we'll verify finally from, from the router, I'll try to tell it or maybe from the router too, I'll try to tell net and verify by, by using this user accounts. So, so let's get started here. So I have this pre-configured topology here on the router. So we'll go to router one. So in the router one, if you verify the basic initial configurations, like on the router one, I do have this initial configuration present and hopefully I should be able to ping to the router two to confirm the connectivity between the router one and the router two. So before you go ahead and create anything, make sure that you have an admin account with a privilege level of 15 so that I can I can make some changes in the future because if you, if you don't create an admin account with a privilege level of 15, then you may end up uh, lock yourself. So we need to say Cisco, let's say the admin password is NYA123. Now next thing we'll, we'll create some user accounts. So I'm going to create a user with a user two and I'm going to assign the privilege level of two and as well as the password, just I'm using user triple two to make it easier to remember. So likewise, I'm creating a user five with a password of, with a privilege level of five. Let me just, and then he will be using a privilege level of five and the username is user file. So up to now, we didn't assign any specific commands, which means these users, if I, if I try to log in with these user accounts, so these users will be, uh, we can issue all the commands inside the privilege level of one. So apart from that, any other commands, they cannot, they cannot uh, access. So if you want to test it out, we can go to router two. And actually I didn't enable the login local option. So we can we can go to video line and we can simply say login local just for testing purpose. We can you can simply say login local to use a local user accounts. Of course, we, we can also enable uh, triple authorization to do this. So let, let me just go and assign the privilege level first before I uh, verify anyway. So privilege level. So initially we, we want privilege level should be assigned here. Like the user two should be able to execute show run show startup commands because these commands are not available on the level one. So this user can can use these two show commands and then he can make changes like he can change the host name. And in order to change the host name, he, he must be allowed to enter into the global configuration mode. So which means this user can use show run in the privilege mode and then he can also use show startup config at the same time he can execute a command called config t and uh, once you go to the configure terminal and then he he can change the host name inside the global configuration mode and also he should come back and he can use write command write command to write memory to save the configurations now the first thing we need to figure out that those commands comes in which modes like if, if you see these four commands these four commands comes in the privilege mode and this command comes in the global configuration mode so depending upon which mode the actual command comes we need to select the option here like privilege exec so if you're using any specific commands relating to the privilege mode we use privilege exec and then define the level and then we need to type down the exact uh, shortcut or the exact command and then any specific commands which comes in inside the global configuration mode because this this come under config hash the hostname command so that command can, should be given as privilege config 
the level and then define the host name the command so likewise if you are defining any commands which comes under the interface like these two commands the IP address and the shutdown no shutdown command this comes under the interface level config if you now depending upon uh, the command we need to select the option here interface so likewise uh, this comes in the router mode and if, if any commands comes inside the router mode we need to say privilege uh, router so basically you need to know these modes like the first thing you need to know which command comes in which mode and based on that while you're assigning the privilege levels you need to specify that mode and then use question marks to find the next objects like in my case I want the router one to be configured with uh, some privilege levels let's say so already I have created a user account so I'll create a privilege and then whatever the commands like in my case initially I want these four commands uh, this comes under exec mode that is a privilege mode so we'll say exec and which level in my case I'm going to start with level 2 and then whatever the command like I want to give show run and then show startup show start and of course other commands like I want he should be able to save the configurations and then also should be allowed to go into global concentration mode again if you don't allow the user to go into the global concentration mode or use this command in the privilege level you cannot allow the user to change the hostname also and then we need to say privilege and inside the configure mode so you can always use question marks to to find the possible options over there so configure and then the level 2 the hostname command and likewise I'm going to do the same thing for the level uh, user file user file account I already created so I'm going to assign some specific commands here so of course I can I can go and configure let, let me just go and test it out this user 2 login now to test it out either you can simply go to the router line vt well line line vt by 0 space 4 and I can simply say login local because already we are using local uh, local user accounts with the privilege levels assigned so so if you're using local then probably you don't need to enable the authorization in general for testing out these features but it's something recommended so what I'll do is I'll, I'll go and enable the AAA first to test it out this one AAA authentication and the login must use the name as CCI and it is using the local authentication same as uh, what we did in the authentication topics and also I want to enable the authorization now the authorization has to be enabled for EXCC uh, for starting uh, uh, EXCC shell so I'm going to say CCI and local and then we need to apply this on the VTV line authentication and the user will be authenticated based on the list CCI and also authorized exec shell with, with a cci here now for testing wise either we can go to router 2 and i can initiate a telnet connection on the router 1 or i can use my pc so let me use the pc here so i'll try to go to my pc and test the connectivity between the router and the pc and then so i'll be using some kind of putty software here And I'll type in the IP address of the router on port number 23 initiating internet connection because I have not enabled any SSH here so we'll open up the connection so I should see the username and I'm going to use the username as user 2 and the password is also user triple 2 I can see if I say show privilege so whenever you log in with the user 2 because this user 2 is assigned with a privilege level of 2 and it shows up the privilege level of 2 and he can execute all the commands which are already present in the privilege level of 1 like he can use show IP interface brief because this this command is already uh, allowed in the privilege level of 1 which means the user assigned with the privilege level of 2 can automatically access all the commands of privilege level of 1 but the user assigned the privilege level of 1 will not be able to access any commands on the higher level so that's the reason we don't need to specifically define all the commands 
uh, in general the basic commands which are already available on the privilege level of one and you can also use show running config and also you can use show startup config because these commands we have we have configured to use these commands here at the same time he should be able to make some changes by getting into the global configuration mode like you can change the hostname as router one let's say at the same time if i try to execute some other commands like like router rip or any other commands which are not defined which are not available in the level one and which are not defined in the privilege level of two this user will not be able to access so likewise if you if you, we can simply go and configure the same thing with with the user file so try to create these commands and you can you can also verify the same with the user user with the privilege level of five as well so likewise what i'm doing is i'm uh, already have these commands in the notepad here so i'm going to copy paste these commands on the router one because we are trying to assign uh, some specific commands in the privilege level of five and then for testing i can go to my putty or i can do it from the router 2 as well so let me try from the router 2 to route to tell it the router 1 and this time i'm going to use a user phi is a phi so i think i mistyped the password so let me try user phi and if i say show privilege here to verify the privilege so it automatically assigns the privilege of five. So one thing you need to notice here, like if any user is assigned with a privilege level of two or more than two, automatically he go into this privilege mode. So there's no more enable the password is prompted in general. So if any user is assigned with a privilege level of one, he will go to this mode first, and then we need to type into enable to go to the next mode in general. And now he can he can execute all the commands which are defined inside the privilege of two automatically so we don't need to specify once again so you can go and change the host name at the same time you can save the configurations you can also execute show run or show startup configurations because these commands are already defined in the privilege level of two so which means the privilege level of the user with the privilege level of five can automatically access all the commands defined in the two at the same time he can also execute the command which I defined here like I uh, give an IP route command like static routing so you can make some changes in the static route you can go to the interface and shut down or no shut down the interface and also you can go inside the router mode and you can advertise specific networks so let's write some rough static route so I don't have any specific route so I can just write a rough static route you can see it's it's working I can execute those commands at the same time I can go to any one of the interface so I'll use S1 by one interface which I'm not using shut down the interface or just simply say no shutdown suppose I'm on the router 2 actually so anyway I'm on the router 1 via VTY line so you can go with the console and verify the same so likewise I can also go inside sorry um, currently I'm with the uh, yep I'm on the user file at the same time I can also get into the router mode and I can use router RAP so I cannot use version 2 because the version 2 command is not specifically defined inside the here so I cannot use version 2 so I can still advertise a networks a specific networks if I have but let's say if I if I try to give no auto summary so I cannot cannot give this command because this command is not defined inside the privilege levels so privilege levels allows you to assign a specific commands to each and every privilege level and based on that the user will be given access to that to those commands 